Hello friends, today I am going to teach you about physical quantities and measurement. This is the second chapter of physics. So to start with, let us see first about density. As you can see, I have written the definition of density. This says that the mass per unit volume of a substance is called density means if we are calculating density which can be represented by d or rho the symbol rho mass by volume now mass and volume as you already know have different units so what will be the unit of density let us see if mass is taken in kilogram which is its si unit and volume is taken as cubic meter the si unit of volume then density will be equal to kg by meter cube or kg per meter cube we, when we bring this unit up we have to make it minus 3 so that is the SI unit and if we are talking about the CGS unit then it is considered as gram by cubic centimeter or gram per cubic centimeter now you should know about the conversion of SI and CGS unit vice versa SI to CGS and CGS to SI. Now if SI unit is gram per meter cube and CGS unit is if SI unit is kg per meter cube and CGS unit is gram per centimeter cube we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so 1 meter cube will be equal to 100 into 100 into 100 cubic centimeter because we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So if it is 1 meter cube then it is 100 into 100 into 100. So if we convert the SI unit to CGS unit as you can see the conversion 1 kg is 1000 gram and 1 meter cube is 100 into 100 into 100. So after cutting off all the zeros we are left with 1 by 1000 which is same as 1 by 10 to the power 3. So you have already read that in maths that if we take any exponential from the numerator to denominator or vice versa we have to make it minus so 1 kg per meter cube will be is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube also if we do the other way around that is converting cgs into si unit then 1 kg is 1 by 1000 kg sorry 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg and 1 cubic centimeter is 1 by 100 into 1 by 100 into 1 by 100 so this will become reciprocal and we are left with 100 into 100 into 100 by 1000 which is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube so 1 gram per centimeter cube is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube you need to use this when you are doing numericals based on the SI and CGS unit of density now how do we measure density density can be measured by using different uh, cans and cylinders and how we are doing that now I'll be telling you suppose measurement of density is to be done of an irregular solid for regular solids we can use the new uh, formulas are there we can directly put the value and calculate mass by volume but suppose there is a irregular solid like a stone or something as you can see we are first doing it with measuring cylinder now measuring cylinder generally has the graduations marked on it it is of different measures like 50 100 250 500 etc it is made up of plastic or glass and it is used to measure the volume of the liquid so how do i do the process is first you have to measure the stone's mass which we can do by using a beam balance or a physical balance then we fill the measuring cylinder with water up to a given volume and then we tie a stone to with a string and immerse it in the measuring cylinder we will notice that the water level is increasing so to note first we need to note the previous value when we did not put anything this is telling us the volume it is generally marked in centimeter cube or ml so here it is 60 centimeter cube and here after putting the stone it has become 80 cubic centimeter so volume will be 80 minus 60 the volume of the stone that is equal to 20 cubic centimeter 
mass of the stone after we measure it with the beam balance suppose it is 50 gram so the density will be mass by volume that is 50 gram by 20 cubic centimeter which is calculated as 2.5 gram per cubic centimeter so this was using the measuring cylinder the density of a irregular solid second we are going to show the use of a eureka can now a eureka can is a cylindrical glass or a plastic beaker provided with a spout this is called the spout and the volume of the can is equal to volume of the liquid up to the spout up to this level as you can see and how do we use it also we call the eureka can as overflow can so first we will measure the stone with the help of a beam balance then we will fill the eureka can with water up to the spout and then we will tie a stone and immerse it in this water so as in the previous case the level was rising here what will happen if the level rises the water will start coming out to the spout and then you can measure this we keep a cylinder measuring cylinder here to collect that overflowing water then let us assume the mass that we have calculated for the stone is 76 gram the volume here that is the water collected in this measuring cylinder is 14 centimeter cube and then the density will be mass by volume which is equal to 76 gram by 14 centimeter cube which is calculated up to as 5.43 gram per cubic centimeter that is the density of this stone now i'll show you a simple calculation of density which will help you to solve different numericals on based on density so in the question a piece of wood of mass 150 gram has a volume of 200 centimeter cube find the density of the wood in SI unit and CGS unit so we know the mass 150 volume of wood is given to 100 centimeter cube so density formula is mass of the wood by volume of the wood which is 150 gram by 200 cubic centimeter which is equal to 3 by 4 gram per centimeter cube which I solve and get 0.75 gram per centimeter cube as we already told you in the beginning that 1 gram per cubic centimeter is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube so if we multiply this we can easily convert from one unit to the other unit so here the SI unit is 750 gram kg per meter cube and CGS unit is 0.75 gram per centimeter cube 